after her. I do solemnly swear. I do solemnly swear to objectively and subjectively evaluate. Good afternoon. I'm John Toomey and I'm from Tryon, North Carolina and we're at the Blue Ridge Barbecue Festival. Beautiful sunny afternoon. I've been working at this for I'd say about 13 or 14 years. And I think we just saw an ad in the paper but I can't really remember how we got started. But it's just something that we like to do. We like to volunteer for different things in the community and this is always a good time and it's a good deal. You get free barbecue bucks and get to meet a lot of people and just a lot of fun. I'm Kathy Toomey and I've been uh, volunteering as long as John and we actually came to the barbecue uh, once as paid patrons and then we we heard about volunteering and it seemed like a great deal because you can park closer uh, they take really good care of you uh, and you get free admission for the rest of the time it's just a four-hour shift so it's easy to do uh, we volunteer for just about everything in town but this is really special because you are treated so well and you get to hear great music and the food is phenomenal. So enjoy. I'm Caitlin Britton. I am 17 years old. I have been coming to the barbecue ever since I can remember. My dad was the chairman for three years. So I've just been involved with pretty much everything out here. I volunteered, which is a really good opportunity. I, it's, I enjoyed it a lot. You get to meet so many new people, and everybody's just really nice and friendly. And plus, the food is fantastic. So yes, it's a great experience. I'm Bill Kroll. I live here in Tryon, North Carolina. I'm a blacksmith, and I was part of the many minds and hands that came together to build the blacksmith studio here at Tryon Arts and Crafts. A young fella, Michael Bell, for his Eagle Scout program, raised the money and the materials and got people to donate all the supplies to build this blacksmith studio. They're now teaching probably 20 classes a year, from knife making to primitive weaponry to uh, flowers and sculptures. Most of the classes are two days, all day Saturday, all day Sunday. They're hoping to get some week-long classes in the fall and winter. They can have five students in the smithy at one time. They have five forges, five anvils. Uh, it's all coal fire, so you get to do it the old, old-fashioned way. Uh, how do you, they use the, the blacksmith um, media in a way, the anvil ring, um, different publications they advertise the, the school in. <laughs> This one was my favorite. It had the best taste and the tenderness was there. Um, this was probably overcooked. It was kind of mushy and 
didn't have a lot of taste. Um, they were all pretty good. Uh, it's my first time doing it, so I'm kind of trying to learn something here. Thank you. Hi there. Well, I, um, I couldn't do well as far as passing out nines. I found the first one I thought had good flavor to it. It had dark color to it. It looks like it was too dark, but it worked out taste-wise. I thought it tasted about as well as anything. Uh, a couple of them. <coughs> he didn't have enough hog in his. Different. I mean, he had pulled pork and he had some loin, and that was it. It didn't show me that he could cook a rib or he didn't burn the ribs up. There were one, two, three ribs showing, four ribs, I guess. And the others were sort of a humdrum, uh, fruity taste. Not really pleased with the uh, taste of the hogs. Uh, this one looked good, the number three, but it, it, just, it just didn't have the oomph that it ought to have had, I thought. Generally speaking, they were, it was pretty good, but not tops. Sample number one had uh, excellent uh, flavor, uh, good smoke um, that that was really appreciated. But but the uh, the the loin portion uh, uh, got away from and, and really dried out. Uh, uh, but that's my only comment. Good flow, good flavor, good smoke. The the second one, the the loin was undercooked, and uh, I really uh, did not care for the sauce at all. It did not complement the meat, and I think uh, if you put a sauce on, it should complement the meat. The next one, um, I, I think, would be a good uh, sample for a barbecue sandwich, but as a standalone, um, it was not very uh, flavorful. Um, presentation was was uh, ho hum. Um, the 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 fourth sample. Um, there, there was really, um, I, d I didn't care for it all. Uh, a, a cook team should look at what he's putting in the box. And if you note, the top of the rib is just nothing but fat. And uh, judges, um, although some judges like fat, I particularly don't care to look at fat nor eat fat off of a rib. So a little bit better selection on what they put in. Again, the, the loin was, was uh, I thought, dried out. Uh, the last one uh, was a good uh, on the, uh, the appearance, looked really wonderful in the box. Um, the, it's kind of different. This is a rib, and there is part of what looks like the connected to it. Um, looks a little bit of the white meat, but it was flavorful. Again, the, uh, uh, my, my overall, this was my, my favorite. Uh, was a nice pull on the uh, on the um, as you can see still moist and a nice pull on the meat uh, I think cooked uh, appropriately All right, I had two uh, samples here that I really liked, uh, sample one and sample four. Both had a good bite, good flavor to them, uh, a little sweet, a little vinegary, and a little bite on the end. My least favorite was number three, uh, which was very dry. Uh, the whole peppercorns were a distraction. Um, the other ones were different variations, but uh, those were both ends. Okay. I enjoyed number one and number four. They both had a, a complimentary sauce to them, and they were very juicy on the inside. Um, number two and number three were, uh, number two was tasted charred to me, and number three had a lot of pepper that was hot and overdid the chicken flavor. I enjoyed uh, number one and four. Uh, number one, the presentation was very nice. Uh, number two, the presentation was good, maybe a little bit smaller than, than what I'd like to see. 
uh, three, the, the presentation was uh, okay. It was a little distracting. It had a, however, when you kind of got in under the skin, it tasted pretty good. Uh, number five was a, a tad bit mushy to me. Uh, yeah, I thought that the uh, that the best entry was number one. It had a uh, a good texture, good flavor overall, and and number three was uh, probably the the most disappointing. Again, too much um, too much spice on the on the entry. I uh, enjoyed number one. It had a good smoke and uh, uh, sauce to it. Uh, my least favorite was three. It was very salty, and also number five was salty. I also agree number one was uh, very good, good flavor, good smoke. Sauce was excellent. Um, the worst one was probably number three, very salty. Peppercorns were a problem. Um, also think number four is worth honorable mention. It was very juicy, good flavor, nice sauce, nice presentation. disappointed in the quality of the ribs. None of them really stood out uh, as being exceptional. Um, most of them were good, uh, or very good, but overall um, it's not what I expected. And like I said, I'm a little disappointed. Uh, I really didn't have a strong favorite. There were several equally uh, disappointing, but as uh, which one I liked the best, uh, I didn't have one. There was three that were about equal. Okay. I like the taste of number three best, but number four was mushy. In terms of taste, it was kind of a toss up for me between number three and number six. Um, my least favorite was number five. It was dry, it was salty. It was just not a very good rib at all. Number one, uh, the appearance uh, looks like it was burnt uh, over sauce. Looks like he put on too much sauce. Uh, there was an unknown flavor, um, an aftertaste. I really, really didn't care for it at all. Number two, again, it was a mediocre rib. Number three was, was pretty good, but there's a lot of fat on the top side. And obviously, a cook cannot really control uh, how much fat is on the top side. Color is good. Bite was good. Overall, uh, was probably my uh, second favorite. Number four, um, it was uh, very, very poorly cooked. Uh, again, there was an aftertaste. Uh, did not remove the membrane on the back. And some cook teams uh, uh, like to leave it on there thinking that it's going to give them more moisture. But uh, I think about 95% of the cook teams out here are removing that membrane. Um, I just did not care for it at all and was probably the, the least of uh, favorite rib uh, due to that unknown flavor. I've got to agree too on number five, um, although um, it didn't look all that bad in the box. Um, uh, it it uh, had a nice pull, but just a, a whole hum rib. Number six, uh, good color, uh, good flavor, uh, good pull. Uh, overall, my... Uh, my favorite, I thought it was an excellent rib. My favorite was number three, and least was number five. Number five seemed kind of bland. My favorite was number three, and my least favorite was number four, overcooked and fatty. <laughs> My favorite was sample three. It had good flavor. A little bit overcooked in one area, but 
very good. My least favorite was probably number five. I believe it was oversmoked. It had a chemical taste to it. Uh, my choices were virtually the same. Number three was my favorite. Um, it had a complex taste. It was just to my taste tender enough. Um, and I bit across the grain to check that tenderness. So it had a yield to it, but it wasn't, I didn't judge it mushy. mushy. Uh, it was tough between number four and five, uh, but I think my least favorite was four because it had a bitter taste, some sort of a medicine-y taste. No yield when I cut it, uh, when I bit it. Number five, almost neck and neck with four, but I didn't have any taste with number five. Uh, my favorite was honestly number four. <laughs> um, I just, uh, to me, it looked good, and when I bit into it, it was nice and tender, and I enjoyed the taste of it. Um, my, my least favorite, um, Appearance-wise, they were all very close to, for me, um, except for number three. It looked like the, the sauce was an afterthought to cover something up. Um, number one looked the most appealing to me, but um, the piece I had when I bit into it, it, it kind of felt like after one or two chews, I was eating mashed potatoes. So it was just overdone and just really mushy um, and a little way too tender then. I also like number four the best. Um, I was actually pleasantly surprised because when the box first came by, I thought it looked a little dry, uh, but I was really surprised at how moist it was and, uh, and how tender it was. Uh, my, my least favorite was probably number one. Uh, I kind of agree that it was overcooked. It, it, it had a very mushy texture to it. Um, so, uh, but yet it, uh, it was definitely overcooked. I'm normally a barbecue enthusiast from the, <coughs> from the beginning, but uh, my <coughs> best one that I just was judging from the pulled pork was number three. Uh, it had the right moisture, tenderness, and flavor. Uh, number four was my least. But like I said, beginning, I'm overall a barbecue enthusiast. Number one was my favorite. Um, it got a high score on all three counts. Number four was my least favorite for the very opposite reason. It got low numbers on all three counts. All right, I thought, I thought entry one, two, and three pretty much covered dry, tough, and bland. Uh, entry four was probably the best for me. Five was kind of in the middle. I pretty much agree. I was disappointed entries one, two, and three were tough, hard to pull apart, very tasteless, uh, one of them in particular. Um, five and six, I preferred six actually. I thought it was more tender and um, had a little more taste than the others. I think I agree with what they said. One, two, and three were, um, well, three was, I, had, I couldn't even, I, I had to spit it out. <laughs> um, four, five, and six, better than one, two, and three, but still not, just not that flavorful not that tender. It's a little, little disappointing. Uh, generally speaking, they're all pretty bad. Uh, number one was really bad and just dry like eating plastic that was made uh, to look like beef. And the second one had a beautiful smoke ring, but we don't pay any attention to smoke rings, but it's a 
certainly is it looks so beautiful it looks like it might be synthetic smoke ring uh, which you must have gone a lot of work to and didn't do him any good on my scoring and uh, three was a uh, really kind of bad and four was a little better than bad and I guess the last one I thought was uh, tender it fell apart when I picked it up and the uh, the burn-in was nice and tender too. Mm -hmm.